How to write a mental treatment plan. Be prepared to halt the evaluation if it becomes apparent the client is in crisis. For example, if the client has suicidal or homicidal ideations, you will need to switch gears and follow crisis intervention procedures immediately. Examples of subjects to cover on the mental status exam include, grooming and hygiene, clean or disheveled eye contact, avoidant, little, none, or normal motor activity, calm, restless, rigid, or agitated speech, soft, loud, pressured, slurred interactional style, dramatic, sensitive, cooperative, silly orientation, does the person know the time, date, and situation he is in intellectual functioning, unimpaired, impaired memory, unimpaired, impaired mood, euthymic, irritable, tearful, anxious, depressed effect, appropriate, labile, blunted, flat perceptual disturbances, hallucinations thought process disturbances, concentration, judgment, insight thought content disturbances, delusions, obsessions, suicidal thoughts behavioral disturbances, aggression, impulse control, demanding the diagnosis is the main problem. Sometimes a client will have multiple diagnoses such as both major depressive disorder and alcohol use. All diagnoses must be made before a treatment plan can be completed. If your client has major depressive disorder, a likely goal will be to reduce the symptoms of MDD. If you are a beginner, try using a model or workbook in the type of therapy you choose. This can help keep you on track. A basic treatment plan will have the following information, name of client and diagnosis. Long-term goal, such as client stating, I want to heal my depression. Short-term goals or objectives, client will reduce depression severity from 8 tenths to 5 tenths within 6 months. A good treatment plan will have at least 3 goals. Clinical interventions, type of services individual, group therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, etc. Client involvement, what the client agrees to do such as attend therapy once per week, complete therapy homework assignments, and practice coping skills learned in treatment dates and signatures of therapist and client. If you do not get the treatment plan signed, Insurance companies may not pay for services rendered. A mental health worker may also consult a client's medical and mental health records during the evaluation process. Make sure appropriate releases of information, ROI documents, have been signed. Make sure you also appropriately explain the limits to confidentiality. Tell the client that what you talk about is confidential, but the exceptions are if the client intends to harm himself someone else, or is aware of abuse occurring in the community. The therapist will also make a decision about the client's mood, sad, angry, indifferent, and affect, the client's emotional presentation, which can range from expansive, showing a great deal of emotion, to flat, showing no emotion. These observations assist the counselor in making a diagnosis and writing an appropriate treatment plan. If you don't own a DSM-5, borrow one from a supervisor or colleague. Do not rely on online resources for a correct diagnosis. Use the main symptoms the client is experiencing in order to come to a diagnosis. If you are unsure about the diagnosis or you need expert assistance, speak to your clinical. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. Check the description below and thank you so much for watching.